Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game, World of Warships Legends. It's nice to have you all here and thank you for stopping by the channel. And so yeah, today we're going to be in the Alaska and we're going to be joined by a division mate. His name is Onside Hazer and on the uh, another division that is in our game as well, um, we were all in a party trying to queue in with each other. We have E and B and we have... Um, M1 Gaming, which they are both in my clan. So, look forward to that. We're going to be having a fun time. Now, yeah, so as you guys can see here, my friend here is in the Minotaur. Um, e and B is in the um, Conqueror, and as you guys know, the Conqueror is an excellent battleship. And I believe M1 is in an Alaska as well. So, yeah, look forward to that. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are on the, basically, the left side of the map. We're going to be heading over to Charlie. And there's going to be two enemy Alaskas right off the rip, and we're going to fire off a salvo at one of them. Now, as you guys might be aware, these Alaskan um, 305s, or I think the 305s, they might be 283, but they are big guns nonetheless. And as you guys can see there, we just smacked him for about 12,000 damage. Not bad at all. Um, showing off what this American piercing <laughs> is capable of. Yeah, it's very good armor piercing, and... Um, yeah, don't mess with it guys. It's very strong um, So what we're doing here now is we are trying to turn into angle and as you guys can see there If you guys over angle even just a little bit in the Alaska you guys can take some huge hits You got to be very careful when you're playing the Alaska now onside hazer here is in the Minotaur as you guys are aware I've already told you this and yeah, he's gonna pop his smoke screen Which is gonna be very beneficial to me and of course him as well if you guys aren't aware, the Minotaur seems to take citadels and penetrations quite a bit. Um, I will be getting my hands on that ship probably in a few weeks, because um, I'm still doing the campaign for it. So yeah, look forward to that in the future. But Minotaur is an absolute beast of a boat, so I'm, qu I'm quite looking forward to picking that one up. So yeah, but right now, we're focused on the Alaska, and as you guys can see, I mean, we're just wrecking people. We're already up to 40,000 damage in the first two minutes of the match. And just showing off what this armor piercing is capable of. It's nasty. It is nasty. So we already know there's a destroyer out ahead. It looks like a Shimikaze because there's about 15 torpedoes there. And we saw them coming from like a mile away. So we do back up. There's actually 10 of them. So he's going to have an extra set. So we got to watch out for that. But yeah, so we're just keeping these guns rolling. Now it looks like two enemy Grosser Kerfirsts have popped up. And we're going to just keep on rolling these guns. They are in rentals, so um, I believe they might not know how to play them, um, which is a problem. I think Wargaming maybe should have increased the rental price a little bit, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, people are being stupid, basically, in these rentals. Um, that's really the only word I know to put it. You should not be playing a GK like that going broadside. That's why they're getting absolutely dumpstered right now. But we're just keep pummeling them, and as you guys can see there, Onside Hazer's beautiful guns are absolutely going to town on them. And those freaking Minotaur guns are no joke. Um, they absolutely smack. Their AP shells have very good penetration. It's just the armor on that boat is awful. But if you guys aren't aware, of course, Alaska, however, has a 32mm bow and a stern. So it can actually ricochet up to 16-inch guns. The only thing that can overmatch... Um, the Alaska through its bow is of course the Yamato and I think some battleships um, with 16s or even 15s kind of get some lucky deck penetrations and Citadel it is it is it it does occasionally happen and it has happened before to me so yeah it's quite unfortunate when it does so yeah so we're up to about 74,000 damage and it's so far not a bad match um, now the problem here is if you guys are wondering why I'm not pushing and maybe I should have pushed but I don't want to have to make any unnecessary pushes. I'm fine right where I am. And the thing is, too, if you guys look, I mean, I'm getting plenty and plenty of shots in on some battleships. And I'm pretty safe where I'm at. Um, I don't think there's really a need to push up. Now, there are, of course, some DDs. But they're shooting us, and they keep missing. So, really, those destroyers have taken themselves out of the fight. So, I'm really not really required right now at this time to make a push for it. However... Um, I believe we are going to start to commit to a push here very shortly because we are noticing that they are getting softened up. The GK, or both GKs really, are basically getting the hell out of there. They have been absolutely crapped on at this point. They're both like under half health and even under quarter health, so they are not having a good game at all. And yeah, 
And as you guys can see here, we have been just using armor piercing the whole entire time. I mean, the whole entire game, we have been shooting at a broadside grocer curve first. And there was really no need for me to load high explosive. Now, we are trying to move up here. Um, onside Hazer is going to be right behind me. He's eventually going to come up here and put a smoke up. Now, what I'm trying to do is get a good shot on this carrier. If I hit him in just the right spot, I can potentially absolutely delete him and send him back to port. Um, but unfortunately, he does look like he is turning, and he's going to avoid all of those shots. So next time, I need to make that count, or someone else needs to kill him. Now, um, on the other side of the map right now, I believe um, our team is doing just fine. Um, they actually have lost the cap over there. Um, but right now, we are moving in. Um, the reason I think also why I needed to push in was we need a cap. Um, now, we have the middle cap, but if we can get an extra cap we would outpoint them with caps. They have um, the cap on the right side, so I would like to get this one. And I see an opportunity. We actually do take out the GK there. Um, so yeah, so what I was thinking in my mind is, you know, we need to get in here, pop a smoke, and get this capture zone, um, in which we will do that. And it's gonna work out pretty well in our favor. Now, as you guys can see there, someone just got an arsonist and took down another enemy ship. The enemy has already lost three ships. We've only lost one. So our team is doing great up to this point. Now. We just lost another ship. I spoke a little too soon. But they have also lost another ship. So, I mean, you know, it's a pretty decent game so far. Our team isn't fully flunking it out. But, you know, we do, of course, have basically a four-man division, if you want to think about it, because we're all in a party. So, yeah, we should be winning this match, in theory. Um, so, we're doing pretty well overall up to this point. Um, we're trying to flip this capture zone to get even more points, to make it even worse um, for the enemy. And... Yeah, it's just all going to um, snowball into a win, which is what is the most important thing in World of Wars Legends, is doing what is required to win. Um, I'm, I'm trying to use the best out of my ship. I'm trying to um, angle my armor, and I'm occasionally popping radar to make sure there's no destroyers pushing up. I need to you know, keep an eye out for those little pesky buggers because they are very dangerous towards our, towards our team. Now, if you guys look there, the GK is almost dead, and the carrier is also harassing him. And we fire off these guns, and it looks good so far. Um, as you guys can see there, Hazer's also going to town on them, and we actually do take out the second Grosser Curfers, and that is the last battleship on this side of the map. All we have to deal with now are the two enemy Alaskas. Now, if you guys look on the map, right above Bravo, Ian B is coming over here with his Grosser Curfers, uh, not Grosser Curfers, his Conqueror, and he is going to help us out and lay down some big, big, big high explosive shells. And like I've said, if you guys seen my Conqueror video, you guys should know that the Conqueror is the best in terms of high explosive. It has the best high explosive in the game um, until Thunderer might come, um, which I hope not. But yeah. So we fire off and kill the Alaska. And unfortunately, um, Onside Hazer gets dev struck. There's nothing really he can do about that. But his torpedoes take him out, getting a flesh wound, a high caliber, and a devastating strike. I mean, what else can you say? Uh, that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Two Alaskas down in literally 10 seconds. Um, unfortunately, he does lose his ship. He gets dev struck, living up to the title of the Minotaur. I mean, it's got no armor. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it's it's a thing. And, yeah, it's literally the only ship that takes citadels and pens like it should. But, yeah, we do win our side here, and we do take down both Alaskas. It is actually a pretty close game. The enemy did go down with a fight. I mean, there still is a chance if these guys pull it out, you know, really try very hard. But, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to win this match. Um, they've killed about five of our ships, and we've killed all of theirs pretty much. So, all we have to do is sail around the map, taking out these guys, and we will win the game. So, or we could just stay back um, and, you know win the game that way we are winning on points there's no need for me to even be pushing but why not i mean there's now there's just a destroyer um the team does manage to take out him as well so yeah that's about the end of the match and there's really not much left to do um everybody has done a pretty decent job um and some pretty epic moments now i don't have the most amount of damage in the world but i just wanted to show off some things there are some pretty sick moments like that right there and yeah i hope you all did enjoy so that's about it really and, uh, yeah, like I said, not the most amount of damage in the world, but I just want to show off, you know, what you need to be doing in certain ships like this. Maybe you guys learned something, and maybe you guys enjoyed it overall. So, 
I'm gonna end this video off as you guys can see here the video is fast forwarding because there's literally nothing that happens the DD pops up a couple times and I missed my shot so I'm just gonna fast forward to the match results I will see you there yeah so here we are at the end of the match I hope y'all did enjoy this video and I hope y'all maybe you know um, learn something and that's what I try to do here on dr. Ghost games But yeah, anyways like comment subscribe all of that stuff helps the channel. Don't be shy in the comments I get back to everybody I can and yeah as always I'll see you on the next one. Peace out stay healthy